A very warm welcome today from the Oktoberfest. We arrived here about 10 minutes ago. The first way was of course into a beer garden of one of these tents. It's now about um, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So we are a little later than uh, we all we wanted to be here. But we are here and let's have a look around. Because the beer garden right now is empty. Relatively empty, yeah. And that's what I absolutely appreciate about being at the Oktoberfest so early is that we got room and you saw the waiter arriving now we do have the first beer so I hand on the camera so yeah yeah mr. psychopunk drinking Paulana and we have the first beer of the season it's the Paulana here at the Armbrustschützenzelt we're still waiting for our food mr. psychopunk will get a dumpling and I will get a chicken so I first beer of the day Cheers. Yeah, that's not bad either. See, the color of the beer is a little darker than the normal beer. And it's much darker than uh, the drink we're seeing right here. Which is water. Which is water. But I stick to the classic one. The Paulana Oktoberfest beer 2023. From the taste, I already tried the Spaten, I already tried the Hakabshor. Among these three, I would rank the Paulana last from the first taste. But let's see how it continues. So I will keep on drinking this beer and uh, I hope my roasted chicken will arrive soon. So the first day of the Oktoberfest has a good start. And just about after five minutes sitting here, our food has already arrived. This is the dumpling uh, with uh, sauce, Bratensauce. Mm, gravy. Gravy. This looks fantastic. And that, that's the absolute classic one uh, half grilled chicken Hindle. at the beer tent. Ahoybats Hindel, as the Bavarians would like to say. Combine this with a moss beer. And the Bavarian guy normally is pretty happy. So, I will enjoy my food and the beer now. See you later. Yeah, together with the mass here at the Augustina, I decided not to go with the chicken today, but with the pork sausage. They look very good. I don't know if they're worth 11 euros. That was the price for four sausages and a little bit of sauerkraut with some mustard. And of course, 13.50 for the beer. Together, it's supposed to go very well. I will try this out now. Unfortunately, I have to hold the camera myself today as Mr. Psychopunk is not here. So, huh? oh, yeah, that's good. That's good as well. And the beer is good anyway. So, here in the Augustina tent, beer number two. Four more to go. Let me come back to you. See you. Alright, welcome back to the Oktoberfest. Still day number two, beer garden number two, on day number two. So this will be beer number three. Now we are at the... Prost! <laughs> Löwenbräu beer garden. We at the Löwenbräu tent. Normally this is not the best beer in town. I will try it. Just, Dave, this is for you, yeah? See you. Yeah, this boy has its own distinct taste. Not my favorite one, but it's really not that bad this year. It's not that bad. This brewery with a significant lion on the on the musk hook. Yeah, they were the worst last year. From the first blush, I would say they are not the worst this year. From the first blush, it's better than the Palana. It's not as good as the Augustina, which I had about um, half an hour ago. It's not as good as the... Yes, it uh, It's not as good as the Spaten and the Akabshoa I tasted from the bottle. And this beer goes with a pretzel. This thing that's as big as my head. I will enjoy it now. 
and um, yeah, I come back to you with beer number four. Not on day number two, but day number three will feature beer number four. See you on the Oktoberfest. So, hello guys. This time half in the light, half in the shadow. I hope this works. Uh, this doesn't work. Okay. Anyway, I'm here at the Ochsenbraterei. This is the one of the Spaten tents. Here. Spaten is my beer number four. So this leaves only two, the Hakkabschau and the Hofbrauhaus, which I'm missing. And let's give it a try. It tasted pretty good out of the bottle. Let's see how it tastes out of the big mug. This is good. This is really good this year. It was already pretty good last year. It was good out of the bottle. It's even better out of the Moscow. I'm also awaiting uh, some food, which of course in the Ochsenbraterei has to be the ox. So beef with potato salad. This was excellent last year and this tent is known for having the best food here on the Oktoberfest next to the Kefa tent, which is the VIP tent. But so I stick to the Ochsenbraterei if I want real good food and it should be the case. So it should be here in a second. I will come back to you. All right, and here it is. Everything that counts on the Oktoberfest. Delicious food, a fantastic beer. I give a shit that I just paid 40 euros for this stuff. Yeah, tip included, but this is definitely worth it. It smells so good. The beer tastes so good. I'm really looking forward to this. T uh, beer number four on day number three. I'm pretty sure I will come back to you maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow. Not today for a second round. I had two beers yesterday. It was uh, more than enough for me on an afternoon. But now I will enjoy the food. See you in the next tent. All right, after some days of break, back at the Oktoberfest. Day number four, beer number five. So I'm at the Hofbräu house today. And as you might see behind me, the beer garden is relatively empty. It's 11.30 a.m. So I'm even for my standards pretty early. So let's see what we got here and I'm back to the classics this is a wonderful looking Hofbräuhaus Wiesenmoss and a wonderful grilled chicken that looks really delicious as mentioned not that much going on right now and this tent is always pretty cool because it has standing room on the inside here in the outside of course not now let's enjoy the beer So, beer number five, Hof Warehouse. Prost. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. Maybe not as um, excellent as the Augustina. I have not tried the Hagabschau yet, but this beer is really good. So, let me enjoy the beer, let me enjoy the food. And yeah, there's one more beer left. I hope I can do that tomorrow. Because, yeah, coming this time of the day, I think is the best you can do. So, Hof Playhouse, here we go. See you later. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Oktoberfest. To the last piece of this video. I already uh, documented myself drinking five different beers. Today it's time for beer number six. Today we are here at uh, the Hakkabschau Fest tent. It's October 2nd, so the second to last day, the penultimate day of the Oktoberfest. And finally, here is the last beer, the Hakkabschau Fest beer. I had it already. It tasted very, very good when we were here Thursday evening, but it was too busy, so I couldn't film. So now, may I hand over the camera to Mr. Psychopunk? It's right there. Sorry, I was not paying attention, as always. And now let's have a beer. The Hakkabschau Fest beer, which is a very good one. So we can use the Cycle Punk. Uh, and yeah, it is absolutely excellent. So this com should complete this video, me drinking all six different beers on the Oktoberfest. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the beer, because the beer was very, very good this year. If I have to come up with a ranking, I would rank the Augustina at first, I would rank the Hakkabschau at second, third would be uh, Hofbräuhaus, fourth would be Spaten, at five I'd put Lüdenbräu and at six Palane. 
This is a little bit different in the ranking than last year, because last year Lufthansa was number last. Augustina was the first one last year as well. But anyway, let's enjoy the beer. And I hope I see you all to the Oktoberfest in 2024, and we can drink some beer together. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the Oktoberfest, and see you every time. Goodbye. Prost!